and boop. Hi. Hello. 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 I'm here. Put on some makeup, some lipstick. Hair is fine, I hope. Um. Yeah. So today's a very special day. I am six months old as a streamer. A lot have a lot has passed. Uh, I've learned a lot about the streaming life. I made a ton of new friends. I've met a bunch of new people. Um, things that I learn is that um, it is hard to captivate people. It's hard to make people come to your stream every night, every day. And it's something that is just part of the game. You know, it's kind of odd saying like uh, starting my speech and there's no music in the background. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, uh, I, I just wanted to to thank the community back. So I have I'm going to give away two games today, uh, one about 10 p.m. or so and the other one at 11, maybe 1130, something like that. But I'm going to be trying to give something back to the community. I hope that the games are good enough. They're definitely my taste of games. So, you know, <laughs> who knows? Maybe some of you already have them. We're going to have to see it through. I've never done any, any giveaway uh, in the past. I don't know much about how things go. Um, What do you mean Brazilian time? Oh, no, no, not Brazilian time. My time. Sorry. So it's uh, four hours ahead. So it's your plus four hours. Uh, it's 9 p.m. here now. So pretty much every one hour, every one hour of streaming, I'm going to start a giveaway. Yeah. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know. If you use ex exclamation giveaway, you're going to see I prepared a command. I'm going to be like, it's written here on top over there. Not yet open. So people don't, you know, exclamation enter all the way through all the time. <laughs> And uh, I've looked uh, how to do it, and I definitely have keys. So that's pretty much it. And no, I'm not going to say which games are going to be, because this is an occult game. We're playing an occult game here. So the games are going to be occult from, from you. <laughs> but they're good. You just have to trust me. That's the thing. It's a chain of trust. It is a chain of trust. All right, guys. Um... Welcome everyone. I've been streaming on Twitch for six months now and it's been quite a journey. I don't know anything about this game that I'm playing. I don't know anything about it. Just so you know, I know nothing. Um, I just I just thought it was cute and casual and it has cultist vibes. So always fun. Okay, let's see. New game. There is music. Is there a voiceover? No. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be doing some talking here. The streets of Andermir are narrow and claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands or, more likely, exchange unpleasantries. The monitor is making me look very orange right now. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares. Thoroughfares? Yes. But it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light. And light is in short supply at street level in this town. Music is very cultist vibes. I like it. I'm excited. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stalked have their uses after all. Mysterious. This 
game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel. Oh, nice. I can zoom in and out. Good. Let me know if it's too small for you guys as well. I think I'm gonna move... I need to move my camera. Wait a second. Let's move my camera. Here. Okay. Oh my god, I have a kitty cat. I have a kitty. Let me lock this. Hi kitty. Hi. Can I pet you? I can't pet you! Oh my god, I can't pet the kitty! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, it's furry! Oh, game of the year already. Oh, hello! <laughs> hello! Alright. Oh, nice! The zoom works perfectly. 10 out of 10 game. <laughs> I found it! An excerpt of the elusive wandering view. Wandering view. Huh. Come to the library in the Amble side and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Those are big names like Wandering View and Gilded Dendra. Simone. P.S. Give Hellbore. A good scratch behind the ear for me. Oh, your name is Hellbore. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. I'm gonna spend my entire playthrough petting this kitty, guys. By the way, what's that? Okay. We just leave it here. Hi. Oh, I have. I can pick up stuff. I can. Apparently there's a thing here. Purple flowers have a light, buttery scent. Fun. Oh, there's more. Okay. Why are they? Whoa, whoa, there. Okay. Bunch of plants. Got it. I'm gonna put them all up because I have a lot of administration to do here love the music the music is so dark this game look like a very chill yet dark game like it's so dark what is this oh oh hello letters dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of back barrel keep it secret uh, I love the sound of the rain following the music. Yeah, I hope it just doesn't make people want to pee all the time. That's, that's all it. Oh, I see here. So I have one of them, I think. Do I need all of these? Oh. Uh, what just did? What just happened? Whoa! Wait, it's a code. Okay. Let me put all of them down. Oh my god. I'm already solving mysteries, guys. I'm a full-blown cultist. Okay. Wait. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Can I inspect this? Is there anything here? There's nothing here. Okay, there, there is nothing nowhere. Alright, we're gonna keep you here. What is this? And why does this look evil? Uh, Whoa! That's loud. Was it that as loud for you guys as it was for me? Wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Map of Undermir and the surrounding area. Ooh! Oh, this is so pretty. Dragon. Okay. 
So I have the map here, I guess. Can keep it here. What is that now? Oh. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. Oh, these are the plants. That's, that's gonna be something. That is gonna be something. Maybe I should keep this here and then I'm gonna keep this here. Clues? Letters. Letters. Oh, I have a hint button. Great, because I suck at these games. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this here. They probably told me to. It, are those bugs? Smell strongly of soured milk? Bad enough to make my eyes water. Yikes. Can I water the plants? Okay. I can. Whatever that does. Wait. Not only it shows here, but it shows here. Can I label? Ooh, I can label stuff. Okay, alright. No, never mind. No. Never mind. I don't know what it is. How am I gonna label it? Okay, um, what is this? I have a growing fear deep within me. I cannot let it take hold. This my status? This might be my status. It might be my status. Uh oh. Oh no. I need to figure out what this is. I only have one hint so far. Hi! Oh my god, the furry. Oh, the furry. I like the general vibe of the game, it's so cool. I know, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh wait, you guys can see the labels here. See, there's there's a labels down here, like this. Then our archive. So you're not missing much. You're not missing anything, really. All right. To the map we go. Oh, I can see my clues. Okay. Excerpt of the elusive wandering view. Found to the library in Ambleside? Where is Ambleside? Oh my god. Now you guys are gonna know how bad I am with maps. So under mirror. Ambleside. And I'll tell you all about it. I even found something. Oh, the library here in the whole side is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today, she is grinding ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Oh, the wandering view and the Gildedendra. Here now. Oh my god, it shows that I have used this already. This is this is bonkers right here. This is bonkers. Quality of life in this game. I like it. I like it. I do. I wonder if there's any other hints. Maybe underneath the pot. There should be other hints of this. I don't see anything. Okay. Am I gonna have too many plans? Because this looks huge. Okay. Oh! Okay, where are we going next? Can we do this one? Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. Keep it secret. 
Okay, time to explore some uh, plants. Let's see. I'm just waiting for the time it goes by. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Hello. Nice. Let's go again. So there's this. Okay. Uh, sparsely on the hills. Okay, so back barrow is here, and then there's hills. I, I like this game. It's giving me stuff. It's giving me a lot of free stuff. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started out as a grey morning has turned into a bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over. A cloak of unwelcome shade. Oh. Got a new plant. Where is my... Oh, here. Okay, so this one is on the archives as well. Perfect. They want me to touch that, but I think people are gonna come by and ask me for plants. How about, <laughs> before we do that, we start uh, knowing um, which plants I've already got. I don't know if it's timed, so I just I wanna know. All right, so this one has thorns. A single pink flower that smells pleasant. Maybe we should just go here first. Okay. Bishop's parasol. A mushroom found in the dark, damp places, feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surrounding in darkness. The gills on the underside of this mushroom seep a milky fluid. It can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. Milky fluid. Isn't this one the milky one? Soured milk. Found in dark, damp places. I think it's this one. Underside, see a milky fluid. Yeah. So this is Bishop's Parasol. Nice. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. You have to say this is just the cutest thing ever. I like it. Okay. Farmer's Worry. A spongy mushroom with potent abilities, only safe to consume in small quantities. Gray grants great strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect is worn out. Is it you? Spongy. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. Hmm. So it's not this one. Do I have any other mushrooms? I don't. Spongy mushroom. This is not as spongy. So that's not what I'm looking for. We probably don't have this one yet. Forest camphrey. Uh, looks like these or these. Strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful saporific effect making it a common ingredient in sleeping draughts. The camphor produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made of many small flowers. Smaller blue flowers. Smell pleasant. Strong smelling bulb. Could be this one too. No, no, no. 
either be this one. It can even be this one. Pungent, not pleasant. Doesn't say if it's good. I think the pink one. But the pink one is not a bulb. So a bulb is a cluster. Like this, like these. So a strong smelling bulb. Oh, you mean this one? Eat this one. Smell is faintly off putting but not overpowering. I think it's the last one now. I mean that one. Rounded dark blue. Yeah, sure. Let's name this one the, the forest. Forest Chem Three. Okay. Let's put these two down here, because I know what they are. Uh, fox button. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick shiny leaves grow in opposite pair along stems. Could be this one. Could be this one, or it could be that one. Stiff leaves. It's a difficult one. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Wow, they're giving me no, no information. <laughs> what is this? Small red berries. No. The only one of these. Looks like this one. It smells of nothing that I can detect. Maybe we don't have the, the plants yet. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a customer, and maybe the game uh, gets me to the point where I'm gonna have all the the plants that you know are basically here already. Victoria Gray. I must have walked past the shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices. Too faint to hear clearly coming from the floor above me. But nobody lives up there. <laughs> I would move away. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. Think Jones Poppy. Vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draw that can greatly improve the inhibitor's hearing ability. Bright red with a yellow center. only red one that I've got. It is right. <laughs> There's a fenton in my room. I'll go to the garden shop. Well, it's the old days, you know. St. John's Pond. Oh, and I got another one. Wait a second there, we have to know that this named Jones Poppy. Okay, alright. Got one down. Oh, I can explore again. I don't know why I would explore, but I can explore again. 
Um, what is this? The Daughter's Stone Circle. Simple welcoming place. I'm tempted to pay a brief visit to an old friend who is a brewer with his own small tavern in the village. In the end, I decide not to. Plenty to be doing back at the shop. Oh, gee, thanks, game. Nice hint there. Game is like, what you doing, girl? You can't explore right now. What you doing? <laughs> he gets spooked out. Good morning. The bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants though, huh? Got a letter for you. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods, to the south of the town with a group of travelers. In the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears flowed, flowed Tears flow down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Okay, wait a second there. Wait a second there, mister. So, Gosforth. What the hell is Gosforth? Um, here. Okay, so this is... This is the the dot says where it is. So, Gosforce began my recovery in the woods to the south of town with a group of travelers. I don't know which one of these is this. G4 or H4. They're both woods. Oh, south. So it's this one then. On the northeast corner. <clears throat> northeast corner of the wood. Maybe it's this. Oh, it is. Okay. The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It's not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Oh yeah! I'm really good at this. I am. Okay. Uh, what are you? Single sweet smelling dark flower. That's quite unusual. Okay, let's keep on going. Ding! Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around, down through Back Barrel. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Lemon Dandy. Do I have this yet? I do. Its curled, its curled leaves are thought to be the or origin of the name of its plant. Huh. Supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Huh. Huh. 
Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions to the heart.